Hello. Welcome to Megger's technical support video series, Frequently Asked Questions. Today we will discuss what information is provided under the Report and Preview tabs on the Tarkle Viewer software. Let's get started. Once you have finished the test, you can transfer the data from the instrument to your computer uh, using a USB stick. And once you have the test file on your computer, you can weave the test data on your computer using the Tarkle Viewer software. Uh, once you open up the software, this is what you will see. If you click on Open Test File and then select the XML file that you just transferred from the instrument, you will see the fields getting filled and you will see the test data uh, associated with the test on the software. So let's look at the report section of the Torque Viewer software. Uh, under the report section, you basically uh, decide what all information uh, you want to see on your report. What you see first is the header information. Uh, so this header information was entered on the graphic user interface. Uh, the field labels here uh, can be changed on the graphic user interface and whatever changes you make there will reflect on um, the the software on the Torkel Viewer software when you open up the test file over here. You can also add a company logo by clicking on select image and then selecting the uh, the image file of your of your company logo that's that that saved on your computer. When you click on open the logo appears on your report. Next, we have some general information associated with the test, like the test date, the temperature at which the test was done, the tester's name. If you want to add additional fields, you can do that by clicking on Add Another Field. After that, you have battery information, like the model, the manufacturer, uh, the number of cells, and uh, all of that. After that, you have events. Uh, now events, it's it's basically a log which details what happened during the test. Uh, this test ran pretty normally. It was started and then it stopped when the voltage limit was exceeded. Uh, so not too many events here. Uh, you can include uh, this log in your report by clicking on this checkbox. Next, um, over here, this is where we decide what test data we want to see on the report. Um, on the left, you have the overall battery measurements. So here you can see that uh, the voltage and the voltage limits checkboxes have been checked, which means that you will see on your main graph, you will see the overall battery voltage uh, and the voltage limit will be shown on the graph as well. Uh, on the right, you have the individual cell voltage information. Uh, so if you click on the first checkbox, you will be able to see a summary of the BVM test data in a tabular form. If you click the second checkbox, you will be able to see the individual cell voltage graphs. You can even decide uh, how many cell voltages you want to see on each diagram. So in this case, for example, uh, the battery bank has 24 cells, uh, but having 24 cell voltage graphs on a single diagram would make it seem too complicated. So I can break up the uh, 24 cells into groups of six cells so that I have four diagrams instead of one and then finally uh, if you check this box then you'll be able to see the uh, the same information in the form of bar graphs uh, and in this case you can have 24 bar graphs in one diagram it shouldn't uh, shouldn't shouldn't be too complicated now if you <coughs> After stopping the discharge test, if you continued monitoring the individual cell voltages while the battery was being charged back up and you want to include that information in the report, then you can do that by checking this box. If you want to add comments, you can do that here and then if you click on this checkbox, those comments will appear in the report. So that was the report section. I've checked some of these boxes. Now let's see uh, what the report would look like. To, to see uh, what the report would look like before generating the report, you can click on Preview. Preview 
as the name suggests, shows you a preview of the report. So this is what the report would look like. You would see the header information. After that, you would see the battery information. After that, you would see the settings. So under settings, it shows you the test method uh, that, was, that was selected and the test current value. Below that, it shows you a summary of the test results. So you, you see the measured capacity, the temperature compensated capacity, the time for which the test ran, the voltage values recorded at the start at the end, uh, the float value, the open value. Under that, you see the limits that were set, the warning limits and the stop limits. Below that, you see the temperature correction factor that was, that was used and the adjustment method that was selected. Below that, you see a summary of the VVM uh, voltage test results. So you see a minimum uh, information, you see the maximum information, and you see average values. You know, uh, and that's that's just a summary. Below that, you see a summary of the overall battery uh, test data. So you see the 25%, 50%, 75% values, and uh, you don't see the 100% values. And that's because the test didn't reach uh, the 100 percent level uh, it stopped uh, before uh, the 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 intended duration of one hour and then the last two columns uh, show you the minimum value uh, and the maximum values recorded during the test uh, and of course this column that uh, that shows you the last recorded values on the voltage and the current And then you will see the overall battery voltage graph here. Uh, remember, we had checked the boxes for just the voltage and the voltage limit, and that's what you see here. Below that, since we checked the include BVM uh, summary data uh, checkbox, we see um, a summary of the BVM test data in a tabular format. We see the float values. Again, we see the 25%, the 50%, 75% values. You do not see the 100 person values for the same reason. The test was stopped before uh, it reached the, the, before the intended duration was completed because the battery reached its end voltage uh, before the one hour mark. The last values, the last recorded values are shown. And over here you see the minimum and the maximum values recorded on each cell during the course of the test. Here you see the uh, individual cell voltage graphs. Uh, since we entered uh, six as the number of cells per diagram, we see four diagrams instead of one. And each diagram has uh, graphs for, for, four, for six cell voltages. Eventually you see a bar graph display here which shows all 24 cell voltages. Uh, from the bar graph, you can figure out what the what the float voltage, the start voltage, and the end voltages are for each cell. You can also see the warning and the stop limits for the individual cell voltages. So this is what the report would look like. Uh, you can go back to the report section to generate a PDF. There are two ways of doing it. You can either click on Save as PDF and then assign a name and then pick the location and then hit save and a PDF, um, PDF file gets generated and gets saved in that in that location or what you can do is you can click on export uh, to PDF Weaver and clicking on that basically generates a temp file a temporary file on uh, your uh, PDF viewing software and from here you can then um, you can then save the file click on file and then click on save as and then save uh, save the file wherever you need to if you just want to make some changes uh, over here and then uh, uh, in, in one of these fields and then save it uh, without generating the report you can do that uh, by clicking on save test file This concludes the video on what information is provided under the Report and Preview tabs on the Torkel Viewer software.
Visit the Mega YouTube channel for more videos, including technical webinars, product overviews, and other how to presentations similar to this one. Contact us for questions or more information about this topic, or for any support you may need for your electrical testing.